Hey guys, um, this was a request from one of my very best friends um, to show him how to change the eye color on a picture. I'm using stock photograph, of course, by Luke's stock. I took this from thevnr.com and this is just for education purposes so it won't be perfect this is just to show my friend how to do it and I hope everyone else find it um, useful so what I do is I grab whichever of the tools you select with I won't use other edges actually I will with just little ones yeah, and then you select really carefully around the eye, trying not to grab too much of the white part, and leaving a little bit of the darkness around the corner of the eye in there, even though it always you can always um go back if you make a mistake, and you can always um burn around here use the burn tool and you can make that dark after you're done and if you mess up you can also blur it to like hide um, the pixelated parts like the really nasty pixelated part because they'll just down give your image a very very hard downgrade on your quality so never make your image too blurry and never make it too sharp because either way it'll look bad so just try to do this as carefully as you can alright there I kinda missed a spot well whatever um then go to layer new layer okay then to open your layer dialog you press to, oops press sorry control L and that opens up your layer um, dialog then you're gonna go here and you're gonna choose a color I will use purple for this and then you grab the bucket fill and you go fill whole selection and then something like that oh I grabbed it in the wrong place so you can either um, let me see you can leave this normal but over here play with it you can use overlay you could use Let's try this one. That looks pretty cute. Can you? That looks hot. You can also use colored, but that's a little too intense. Yeah, that looks. That looks. Oh, that looks so pretty. Just like that. That looks so cute. Um, that's kind of exaggerated. Uh, you can use burn, which will make it like a very very dark look. It'll look hot though. But too dark is not too good, you know, this is just the salt tool, I wouldn't use that one. Multiply, let me see how this one looks. That looks, uh, not that good. Um, screen, too light, so I wouldn't use that one. Dodge, ooh, too grainy. Burn, I already used that one, I think, yeah. Let me see, dodge. I think I used that one too, sorry. Hard light, um, no, oh my god. Anyway, well, this is what I do to change eye color on my deviations, or stock, or, I mean, or whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter, even if you're changing the, the eye color on your own picture, it shouldn't matter because... This, you can do this with any picture. You can also change the color of clothing and you could funk, um, funk up your hair or play with your pet's skin, I mean f fur, I'm sorry. Um, you can do a thousand things with just this little thing right here. So I um, think I'm going to leave it, oops. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. No, I think I'm gonna leave it with um, color, cause that looks just perfect. And also, if you wanna like make it look 
pretty, like um, darken this a little bit so like you can see the purple reflection inside. You can also use the burn tool, the burn dodge thing, and you can use burn of course and the circle the fluffy the fu flu bleh, sorry <laughs> I have a problem talking today pick the cert the fussy circle um thingy option and you go right here and you burn and then when you're done you anchor oops no you go here and you merge your work and that's how you do it I'm sorry I messed up so you darken that area right there and if you want you can also burn around so you can make it a little darker and if you notice if you notice that you can still see like the little sharp edges right there because when I was cutting I didn't use my feather my feather edges I didn't make them really high I left them really low but also what I do to like um, make this go together with together with the this part right here in the back of the eye like the outline I use the burn tool sometimes like darken it a little bit like around something like this you can darken it and stuff like that darken it a little bit. I could do this for the whole eye just in case. Not too much, just just one time over. And then you go to the blur tool and you carefully blur around like the parts you blur it a bit and then It'll help like the pixels. It'll help the pi the pixels distribute and go together. You see, something like that. That's what I do so the image goes together. See, it's blur the picture. You can also after you're done with that, you can also go to filters and you can choose all these other options. This is one of my favorites, Soft Glow. I don't know why, it's just, it just I just love it. That's a little exaggerated, I think. Let me see. That's a little exaggerated, but I just love it. You can also, like, scale it down for the sharpness and the brightness and just make it look how you like it. Don't, like, exaggerate it. Something like that, I don't know. See, something like that, and it'll look pretty. But don't forget to cut the edges really, really carefully. I did it, like, fast because, you know, I'm just trying to show you guys how to do this. So, do that. And if this was helpful, please comment or rate or just send me a message or something. Um, all credit goes... For the stock, for the photo I'm using, all credit goes to this person right here, Luke's stock from DeviantArt.com. Um, well, I guess thanks for watching. Um, I'm sorry for messing up while I'm speaking. And thank you for watching. I hope this works for you. Have a nice night. Goodbye.